the fourteenth station. Jesus is placed in the sepulchre. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Now in the place where he had been crucified there was a garden, and in the garden a new tomb in which no one had yet been buried. So they laid Jesus there because of the Jewish preparation day, for the tomb was close by. Then he, Joseph of Arimathea, rolled a huge stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. But Mary Magdalene and the other Mary remained sitting there facing the tomb. John 19, 41 to 42 and Matthew 27, verse 60 to 61. A great stone separates us at this moment from the sacred body of Jesus. Those with faith could adore Jesus in body and divinity present in the sepulcher and obtain the benefit of receiving graces directly from the Redeemer. This was the great consolation of the holy women. This is why St. Jerome affirms, The women persevered in their duty, awaiting what Jesus had promised. For this reason, they merited to be the first to see the resurrection, because whoever perseveres until the end will be saved. Blessed are the holy women. However, we are also blessed since we have Jesus in body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Eucharist. In the Eucharist we adore him, not hidden by a great tombstone, but veiled under the appearance of bread and wine. O Virgin Mary, I have recourse to thee to obtain from me, from Jesus in the sepulcher, confirmation in the grace of God, so that one day, following thy footsteps and his, I will resurrect unto eternal glory. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, victim for sinners, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithfully departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Final Prayer In thee, O sorrowful virgin, I recall the synthesis of all the episodes I have meditated upon. What mystical graces thou must have received in the midst of such sorrows, the graces to feel in thy person the actual pains of the Redeemer. It is not without reason that from a certain perspective thou can be called co-redemptress. It is to thee that I fly to take refuge, groaning under the weight of my sins with the unshakable conviction that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help 
or sought thine intercession, was left unaided. Sorrowful Mother, I have recourse to thee to implore the pardon of my sins, my eternal salvation, and the complete sanctification of my soul. I ask thee also that the world in general and the Holy Roman Catholic and Apostolic Church may reach their plentitude of splendor and grace so that we may witness the universal proclamation of the triumph of thy Immaculate Heart. In the end, my Immaculate Heart will triumph. Amen. <laughs>